what's up guys it's gold glover 9 here as promised i've got some sniping footage some sniping gameplay just for you on fort deval so i'm gonna dig into what makes a good scout i've also got a video that will show up in the end about my guide on how to become a better scout a more aggressive scout a scout that actually helps its teammates so make sure you guys watch that it'll be near the end but what are some tips and tricks for being a good scout on a close quarters map such as Fort Deval? Well, I'm going to stick to my guns on this. It's all about the attachments. It's all about your loadout. It's all about what you're going to do in case your first shot doesn't get the kill. And it's all about your loadout. And what I recommend here is, as you guys can see from the gameplay footage, uh, tripwire bombs whether that's incendiary gas or the bomb itself, incendiary grenades, gas grenades, smoke grenades, all of those are gonna help and work as like a covering system. As a scout, you want your enemy to be on the move and you want them to move away from close quarter situations so that you can get them into a longer range positioning uh, in order to take them out. So as you guys can see, throwing the incendiary where the enemy is is definitely going to get it, get them to move out of that out of that position. Gas grenades will do the same thing. Gas grenades will force them to have to hip fire, which is definitely going to work in your favor, being less accurate with the hip fire. And all of this helps you as a scout to make the enemy move, so you can actually hit get them in a longer range situation so you can realign your shot, aim properly, and get the kill. And as you guys can see, you will get into some close quarters situations just like that. That guy nearly missed me. Well, he nearly hit me. Uh, just missed to the right. Now, when he saw me, he probably hip fired. And luckily for me with the M95 Gewer infantry variant, I was able to get the one shot and knock him down. So. You're going to have to have a quick aim, a quick scope, and be pretty accurate. As you guys can see, I use the incendiary grenade right here down the hallway so that my teammates can move up. Now see, the enemy can't see me or my teammates, right? But since he spotted, I was able to get the kill. He couldn't see me though. He didn't know I was there. Throw the tripwire down. That gets exploded. Teammates are be able to reposition again. And once it clears, he spotted. So, these kind of tactics work. You can play as a scout on this close quarter map. Now what also helps is here in this gameplay, in this footage here, is the spot flare. Whether that's, whether you're gonna use the spot flare or you're gonna use the spot flash, either or really works. It's a, it's a great tool to use, especially when you don't know who's around the other corner. You need to be able to help your teammates in spot. Now, as you can see, we've got some long-range engagements in Fort Deval. It's being touted as an extremely close quarters map. As we all know, you guys have probably played it. You've probably played it to death, really. But as you can see, a lot of long hallways, a lot of short hallways. So it's, an, it's actually, it's not a fair assessment to call it close quarters map. It's majority, it's majorly close quarters. It's got some long range elements to it. And I would say it's kind of a well balanced. I only say that because I'm able to play scout on something that's so short, so short and so sweet. So yeah, those are the, that's the kind of loadout that you're gonna have to play with. The things that I would suggest, even in the long hallways, I would not suggest using anything with a scope on it. I would only suggest infantry variants or iron sights. And that's simply because the, I think the lowest magnification is six. I could be mistaken, I could be wrong there, so don't be too hard on me for incorrect stats. But I definitely wouldn't recommend anything that's got scopes on it. Uh, you're, you're not gonna be running scout with an eight times scope, a 12 times scope, I don't even remember if they have that. You might get to a point though that you're actually getting real pretty good at it though, you know? kind of anticipating where guys are. This would actually probably be the best place to use a scope, is right on B, right between the two um, doors here. That's probably the longest part of the whole entire map, or even outside, in between all the rubble. 
that's pretty much the only time I can possibly see anyone trying to use a scope on your sniper rifle. I wouldn't recommend it, but hey, there's a lot better snipers out there than me. So, if you get it to a point where you actually get used to it and it's actually fun for you and it's actually effective, then I say go for it. Have some fun. Do it up. Kind of like even right here. You could use a, you could use a scope out there. But I just don't know how much action you're going to get, you know what I mean? If you like close quarter, if you like aggressiveness, if you like a run and gun type of feel, I'm definitely recommending the, the infantry variants. So those are kind of my tips on how to become a better scout, especially on Fort DeVal. It's really all about your loadout, and I highly recommend that you guys consider using that as your loadout. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will let the rest of the gameplay do the talking for me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!